Hey, how's she going, boys? Mike here. Welcome back to Grampy's Workshop. How are you doing today? Listen, uh, how do you like my table? Eh? Nice and yellow. <laughs> Anyways, uh, what we're up to today, it's sort of like a very quick repeat of a video I made a couple of weeks ago where I made a pallet to put my landscape brake on. Well, I also have a back uh, box blade, and I want to make a pallet to put my box blade on because uh, the box blade goes in under the deck on the scaffolding that I put my landscape brake on, and it's kind of tricky slinging that box blade off the forks and trying to get that position in there. So I think a pallet would work better on that. So we're going to make another pallet. It'll be the same as the one for the landscape rake for all intents and purposes. But uh, we'll see how we make out. So that's what the video is today. We're going to make another pallet. So I have some hemlock boards again, of course. Lots of hemlock. I like using that for outdoor projects. Uh, and it's rough sawn, so it's a full inch thick. But six inches wide, so I'm going to cut some uh, to length, 64 inches is how long I need them. What I've done is I've set up the stop block, so I just pull the piece over to that stop block, and this is set up for 64 inches. So that's a handy thing. If you're going to make repeated cuts, it's not a bad idea to set up a stop block, and then you can just slide her into the stop block each time instead of measuring each piece and cutting them individual, because you'll never get them the same. But with the stop block, you get a better chance of. Uh, having success when you want to cut all your pieces the same length. Alright, so I need to cut four of these boards, so that's what I'm going to do. I'll just set them up on the stop block, rip, cut them off. Okay, so here at the table saw now, the boards are six and about a sixteenth of an inch wide. So what I'm going to do is I set my fence here with three inches, and I'm just going to rip them in half. Okay, uh, setting up here on my nice new yellow table, isn't that pretty? Uh, the distance between these forks is uh, 45 inches. And I'd like my forks to come on the outside of these sleepers, so as long as I have something less than 45 inches, it should be good. And when I measure this, it's 43, so I've got an inch, an inch on either side to slide my forks in. Uh, I'd like to make this as square as I could, so I'm just going to check this for square. That's 51 and 3 quarters. Oh, 51 and 3 quarters, my, my, my. That's way above my normal shop tolerance. I have these uh, hemlock pieces that I just ripped up. So we're going to place those on the deck and, uh, you know, decorate and make a pallet out of it. Okay, so, 10 and a half on this end, flush on here. I'm going to put a couple of uh, pilot holes in here. I'm using one and three quarter inch screws, if anybody's keeping score. No, actually they're two inch screws. Alright, so here we are on the other end of it. <coughs> so I set this end at ten and a half, because that's what this end was set at. <laughs> Drill some pilot holes. So I checked that the sleepers were square. Now I want to check that the pallet top is going to be square. So from there to there, 70 and a quarter. Go in the coffin building business. <laughs> okay, so just like last time when I was building the pallet, I put this little end piece on here so I can slide all my boards up to that and they'll all be uh, aligned, more or less aligned, anyways. 
and then I'm just leaving a gap between each board uh, to fill in the deck and we'll just screw those down and that'll be my pallet. There's my pallet already. Now let's go out to the shelter and uh, get that box blade out from under the deck on the scaffold. Alright, we have our forks on the bucket now so we have to come in and grab a hold of this scaffold. So you see the deck is here, the rake is above it, so I have to put my forks in just between that deck and the top of the box blade and then chain the box blade to it and lift it up uh, and I have to get the box blade balanced right so it doesn't flip around when I lift it. So. That's why having the pallet here is going to make it a whole lot easier, I think. So anyways, I'm going to get the tractor bring her in and start chaining this up. So there's not a lot of room to work in here. And I have to get the chain wrapped around the... Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll get her. Okay, slight change of plan here. I am brought the bucket in here with the forks under the box beam here on the box blade. Uh, so I can lift that box blade up now with the forks under that beam but to keep the box blade from tipping forward I have to uh, connect this top link back to the uh, hooks on my bucket. So yeah that worked out pretty good. So now I'm going to back out and take it around in front of the, the shop there and uh, load it on the pallet. So I think that's going to be a lot better uh, for getting the uh, box plate in and out. The only issue I ran into of course was up here now it's too high and it hits on the deck. So that means I can't push the box plate in as far as I used to. But that's not a big deal. I'm going to show you here. It doesn't stick out that far. And it's not going to impede getting the rake off the top. So. 
a couple of pallets there for storage. Alright, sorry about uh, a boring video perhaps making just another pallet like we made the other week. But uh, I think it's good to get that box plate on a pallet. It's certainly going to make it easier putting it in and out of the shelter the way I store them there. So, you know, uh, uh, thanks for coming along. I appreciate you watching pallet making version 2. <laughs> 2.0 as they say. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the fall is here, time for chores, and uh, you know, the more we can get done before the cold sets in, uh, the better off we'll be, so you better get at her. In the meantime, thanks for watching. If it's your first time here, appreciate you dropping in. It's nice to have you on board, and I hope you enjoy the channel. And for my regular viewers, again, thank you very much. Appreciate all the time you offer up to watch my videos and comment. That's always nice too, so. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Don't forget. Don't forget. COVID, eh? Can't let her guard down on that puppy. We'll talk to you.